Hi, I'm Joachim for Statistics Globe and in this video I'll explain how to count the observations by factor levels in the R programming language. In the video I'm going to show you several examples and all of these examples are based on the vector that we can create with the lines 2 to 5 of the code. So if you run these lines of code you can see that at the top right of RStudio a new vector object appears which is called vec and we can print this vector to the RStudio console by running line 6 of the code and then you can see at the bottom in the RStudio console that our vector consists of 8 values and 4 different factor levels. Now let's assume that we want to count the cases by each factor level. Then we can apply the table function as you can see in line 8 of the code and within the table function we simply need to specify the name of our vector. So in this case our vector is called vec. So if you run line 8 of the code you can see that another output is created at the bottom in the RStudio console and as you can see this output shows the number of cases by factor levels. So the first factor level A contains three cases, the second factor level B contains two cases, the third factor level C contains three cases and you can also see that our vector contains a factor level which is called D which consists of zero cases. So even though the vector that we have inspected does not contain a single case of the factor level D, this factor level is still shown by the table function. So in this first example I have explained how to show the cases by factor level using the basic installation of the R programming language. However, I want to show you two other examples in which I'm using add-on packages to the R programming language. And in the second example I'm going to use the deep layer package to count the observations by factor level. And in order to use the functions of the dplyr package we first need to install and load the dplyr package as you can see in lines 10 and 11 of the code. I have installed the package already so I'm just going to load it with line 11 of the code and after running this line of code we are able to use the functions of the dplyr package. Now in preparation for the example we also need to convert our vector that we have created in the beginning of the tutorial to the data frame class. And we can do that by using the data frame function as you can see in line 13 of the code. So if you run this line of code you can see that a new data frame object appears at the top right of our studio which is called data vec. And we can have a look at this data frame by running line 14 of the code. And then you can see at the bottom in the RStudio console that we have created a data frame which contains only one column. And this column is consisting of the factor values that we have created before. Now in the next step we can use the count function that is provided by the dplyr package to count the observations by factor level and within the count function we need to specify our data frame that we have just created and our vector that we have created in the beginning of the tutorial. So if you run line 16 of the code you can see that another output is created and as you can see this output is a tibble and as you can see this output is a data set which contains one column for the factor levels of our input vector and another column which is called n which is consisting of the number of cases in each factor level. Please note that this time the empty factor level d that we have shown in the previous example is not contained in the output data set. So the dplyr package or the count function of the dplyr package is not showing empty factor levels in the output. So in this second example I have explained how to use the dplyr package to count the observations by factor levels. However I also want to show you another example in which I'm using the data table package to count cases by factor levels and this is what I'm doing in the following lines of code. So in lines 18 and 19 I'm first going to install and load the data table package. I have installed this package as well so I'm just going to load it as you can see in line 19 of the code and after running this line of code we can use the functions of the data table package such as set dt and if you run the syntax that you can see in line 21 you will see that another output is created which looks very similar compared to the output of the dplyr package however this time our output is a data table. So in this video I have explained in three examples how to count observations by factor levels using the R programming language. 
However, in case you want to learn more on this topic, you could check out my homepage, statisticsglobe.com, because on the homepage I have recently published a tutorial in which I'm explaining the content of this video in some more detail, and I will put a link to this tutorial into the description of the video. Furthermore, if you have liked the video, I would be very happy if you leave me some positive feedback in the comments or if you give me a thumbs up on the video and make sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel to get notifications in future when I'm releasing new videos to the channel. That's it for this video. Thanks a lot. See you next time. Bye bye.